Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to the sixth and final episode in my Jetpack Compose Notes Up series. In the last video we created the notes list page and in this video we're going to set up the main activity, our navigation and then finally test the app. So in our main activity we want to make sure it's extending component activity so we can use Jetpack Compose. We want to declare a late init value for our view model. And then we want to initialize that in our onCreate using our view model factory. So view model equals notes view model factory. We can use our application class to get an instance of our DAO. And then we want to call the create method and pass in the class, which is note, notes view model class.java. Then we can call the set content method and start adding our navigation. First off, we want to declare our nav controller which will be remember nav controller. Then we can set up our nav host and pass in the nav controller. And then we can add our start destination, which will be constants dot navigation underscore notes underscore list which we will create in a moment we need to make sure we have the correct import it is this one here and it is the one that has the start destination parameter and then after this we can provide a function body and now let's go ahead and create that value in our constants so that'll be navigation underscore notes underscore list. And this will be notes list. We will have a few more of these. So I'll copy and paste this. We will have the navigation underscore notes underscore detail, which will be notes detail. Then we'll have the notes edit page. We'll have the notes edit. And then the argument, which will be the navigation underscore notes underscore id underscore argument, which will equal notes id. And just make sure it's all in capitals. So I'll just change that here. And now we can go back to the main activity and continue working on our navigation. First off, we want to set up our notes list. This will be a composable. The root will be constants.navigation notes list. And then we can add the composable. which will be notes this screen, pass in the nav controller and the view model. Then we can go ahead and set up the note detail page. And I'll just add a bit more space down here. So this will be another composable. And then we can pass in constants dot navigation notes detail arguments and then we can pass a list of nav argument and pass in our argument from our constants so constants 
navigation notes underscore id argument and then we have to provide a type for this argument and this will be an int as it is the id of the note so type will equal nav type dot int type then once that's done after the composable we need another function body so we can start up the composable inside this function body we have access to the backstack entry and this is where we can get our note id so nav backstack entry dot arguments dot get int Then we can pass in the key, which will be constant navigation notes ID argument. And then we need to call dot let on that because we only want to run this code if the argument is not null. And then we want to load the note detail page and pass in the note ID, which will be it, and the nav controller and the view model. And after the note detail page, we can copy and paste this as it is pretty similar for the note edit page. We just need to change the constants to notes edit. The argument list will stay the same. And for the composable, it will be note edit screen. Passing the note ID, the nav controller, and the view model. And then the final page will be the note create page. This will again be a composable. The root will be constants dot navigation notes underscore create. There won't be any arguments. And then we just want to load the create note screen, pass in a nav controller, and then pass in the view model. So now the main activity has been completed, we have a few things that we need to tidy up in our app just to make sure it's all running correctly. First thing, we need to make sure the headers are appearing correctly in our list screen. So we need to reassign the previous header after setting the spacer in, in the note list screen. Um, and we can set this using the note.getDay method. This is done in a notes list composable in the note list.kt file. Next, in the note model, we want to make sure that we are adding the ID of zero to the placeholder. This will mean that we are unable to click on the placeholder in the list as we don't want that to be clicked on. Then in our notes list, in the note list item, we want to make sure that the column is set to fill max width and the image is set to content scale dot crop. Then for the navigation, we also need to make sure that we have the arguments at the end of the notes edit and note detail page constants and that the note detail and note edit strings also match note detail and note edit for the navigation root creation functions here. Just make sure these match and you should be okay. And then the final issue that I found is in the edit note screen when we were saving the note, we didn't have the correct values here. We need to have the current note, the current title, and the current photos, not the note dot value dot note like this here. Otherwise it will not save. It needs to be the current note dot value, the current title dot value, and the current photos dot value. The ID will stay the same as that as the ID of the original note. Now I'm going to rerun the app and give you a quick demo. So firstly, we've got our empty list placeholder here. I'm going to go ahead and try and click on it. I cannot. I'm going to try and create a note. We'll call this test and a body of test as well. We'll save it. So now we have one note in here and we can see we have the detail page all working. I'm now going to navigate back and create a second note. This will be called test2. Test YouTube for the body, and I'm going to add an image. 
so we can see this is all working fine so far we have the image popped in and let's save the note we can see the note has also been saved let's see if the search works so if i search for youtube i should just get this note and then if i search for test i should get both notes so that's working correctly um, the next thing i'm going to demo is the editing so if i click on this note here and select the edit icon I should be able to edit these details. So test three for the title, test YouTube one for the body. And now we're going to change the image to this one here. Image has changed. These are still set. And if we hit save, we can see that it's saved. It has gone back to the detail screen and all the values have now changed the correct ones. So we can see everything has been updated. If I now go back to the list, we can see the updated state has persisted in our list as well. The next thing I'm going to do is create a third and final note so we can test the delete actions. So test one, test one. So that note has been created. So firstly, for deleting a single item, we should be able to long click the item and select delete. And we can see that that has been deleted and the correct note has been deleted. And to delete multiple notes, we should be able to select the bin icon up here. We have a warning dialog and we select yes. Now we can see all notes are gone and it's just shown us the placeholder. If I then select the delete icon again, I should get a toast message, which I do, just saying no notes found. And I shouldn't be able to long click to delete either. So that is the Apple working. Thank you for joining me on this series. I hope you enjoyed it. The full code for this project will be in the description. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.